Hi, I'm Alan Cohen. I'm the Vice President of Enterprise Solutions and erstwhile uh, TV moderator and host here for Cisco uh, Live. I'm actually here with uh, uh, David Schreier. Uh, right, thank you, David. Um, David is with Net Network Appliance, also known as NetApp, and is um, in an unusual position because he's in the control and um, engineering and business um, operations side of NetApp, right? You thought we were going to be announcing a new partnership or a new product, but we actually have a actually have a very exciting subject to cover today, which is really in the area of converged building systems and connected real estate. Um, one of the reasons that we were really excited to have uh, David here today is that he was very early on um, both involved in the formation as well as the use of uh, the Richard Zeta product, which is now Cisco Connected uh, Real Estate Solution and Emerging Technologies Group. So uh, for, from my perspective, this is a very interesting opportunity where we're seeing actually convergence between a lot of IT networking and then a lot of um, business um, maintenance and operation systems that, you know, frankly just speak different languages. Uh, I also learned that David was with Cisco early on in his career, so he should know that as a company, Cisco uh, takes things that weren't built to work together really well and makes them work together, and I think this is probably a, um, you know, a poster child for this. So uh, before I kind of even go into some of the questions I think we've prepared, um, you know, why did you get involved with this? Uh, one of the reasons that we, you know, I've been involved with it was um, we always wanted to be in a forward-thinking uh, position myself personally and NetApp as a company um, always wants to be one of the leaders in innovation and technology and things like that moving forward. Um, the biggest thing for us is, is to, um, you know, we want to be the drivers, we want to be in the driving seat and moving the technology and innovations uh, forward. We don't, we, we look to make paradigm shifts as well as um, some of the other things that we wanted to do was we don't want to be a passenger where um, all the energy efficiency stuff is now going, which is really um, beginning to explode. Mm -hmm. Sure, and then I think we know that I think about 50% of the um, electricity consumption in the United States is actually just for lighting buildings, and then you add in things like the rest of the HVAC systems. It's obviously a huge uh, you know, consumer of electricity and producer of carbon. So, but you know, with that said, let's th let's take a second and talk about you know. So, a lot of people have obviously been playing about the environmental benefits, and, and obviously that's a critical issue in our society today. But it has other benefits, right, for for people. Yeah, no, there, I mean, yeah, the energy benefits is just that's just very, you know, right off the top of your head, and then you've got the reduction of your carbon footprint, which is kind of a, goes along with it. Um, one of the other benefits is is um, it creates a, a more synergistic uh, collaboration between not only departments but people in general that typically have not um, been known to work well together, if you will, um, specifically IT engineering facilities. They always did were off in their own you know, little realm and, mm -hmm. and they did their own thing. So the bigger thing is, is, is it really kind of helps us force a collaboration and teamwork to work together and think outside of the box 